These books belong to people whose names are forgotten. So maybe this is the only way to commemorate them. In 1997, after my father died, I did a visit to Slovakia. And during the funeral, I met this elderly lady. And then uh, she told me this story of what happened to her in Auschwitz. She said, my purpose of life is to visiting Holocaust survivors. So I asked if I can go with her. I went to these houses of these old people. And uh, once you listen to the story, then the things change. I wanted to see how can I do a photograph of somebody who survived horrors. You get enormous respect for those people. When I wrote to him and I asked him Actually, if we were to make a film, um, what kind of a film should it be? And he said, it should be like a poem. The more I worked with him, the more I noticed that his portraits tell so much and that the art of taking those portraits was in some way that he felt for these people the moment he encountered them. We found the books in 2006, which was a completely extraordinary moment and a day that I don't think any of us will ever forget because we had no intention of staying in the building. In fact, it all happened by complete coincidence. The books were there because one day, I think it was 42, half the town was deported. People were gone, nobody really wanted possession of the book. Most properties were stolen but nobody cared about books. I was enchanted by the books, how beautiful the decay was. Something I feel I have to somehow capture. Another place we find the books in a synagogue. It was so stunningly beautiful. And of course, sometimes you close your eyes and think how this place was when it was active. There were books we have found at um, another place in Slovakia, at a cemetery where the books were left to be buried because it is a Jewish tradition to bury books and there's nobody left to bury them. And the books have gone through many winters and many summers and they have turned into stone. You both are utterly astonished by the beauty of that, but you also feel the sadness of it. When you think of the generations that had learned about tradition and culture and philosophy from these books, it shows the strength of the survival. The book will be there, the words in the book will be there even when the people won't be there anymore. And then when we find out that each book have a name and it belonged to somebody, you try to treat each book as a special object, if like you were actually photographing a person. It 
die Ausstellung Las Folio ist sehr berührend, ist faszinierend und ein solches Bekenntnis zur Kultur kann an keinem Ort besser gezeigt werden als in der Staatsbibliothek. We tried to bring the exhibition to Germany several times because we always felt that it was important that the journey in a, in a way comes back. When we were offered the opportunity in the National Library with the help of Bettelsmann, it was for us a really great moment. Since many of the books that we photographed were in Hebrew and German at the same time, it's a kind of coming together, it's the end of the circle. Um, it's great to have it in Berlin.